Hi everybody, so biomimicry, the art and science of emulating nature's brilliance. It's found a promising playground in the realm of wind turbines and turbine design. Now as we navigate the challenges of sustainable energy, biomimicry is emerging as a guiding principle, allowing us to draw inspiration from the natural world to optimise the efficiency, adaptability and environmental impact of wind turbines. Those towering sentinels of clean energy have become something of an iconic symbol of our commitment to a greener future. And as we seek to enhance their performance, biomimicry provides a pathway to unravel the secrets held within the intricacies of the natural world with its elegant and time-tested solutions. One of the fundamental areas of biomimicry and wind turbine design involves the study of the flight of birds, particularly the flight of owls. But biomimicry extends beyond more imitation, venturing to the realm of innovation by introducing dynamic elements inspired by the natural world. And Seenman's dino tails, for instance, draw inspiration from the adaptability of an owl's wing. The main thrust of the work at Siemens has been the reduction of noise because all onshore wind turbines have to operate below certain noise levels and that means holding them back and curtailing energy production. So by putting a serrated trailing edge on the wind turbine blade they've been able to reduce the noise dramatically. Siemens call them dyno tails and they've been around for a good 10 years but they've now come out with version 2 where they've added comb structures to the dyno tail serrations reducing the noise even further and they're claiming a 10% noise reduction without any loss in power. The combs produce micro flows which aid in the noise reduction and are based on the broken feather edge of the owl's wing. Of course Siemens aren't the only people working on this with Seal Arbeg producing a fan blade based on the owl and Biome Renewables producing their own version of a trailing edge adaptation based on owls and of course there is a ton of research going on at the various universities all around the world. Bearing all that in mind what I've done is I've redrawn this that we made in video 2110 but I've kept the tubercles and what I've done is I've drawn a shortened version. I've effectively chopped off that tail bit there and then I've drawn up and printed off these tails that are very like the Siemens tails and we can glue those on there like that. Now the reason I've done this is in case everybody wants to reproduce these tails only and attach it to their own turbines it's going to be a bit more easy to do if it's in two parts. So we glue that tail onto there and replace those tubercles with this new tubercles. Now we've got the owlet addition to the tails. Okay so I've stuck them on and to stick them on I've used this, it's butyl rubber tape. It allows me to fiddle with the angle if I want to and I want to show you something really quite interesting. So let me turn the fan on. <laughs> it's self-starting, which for this kind of turbine is actually quite a big deal. How cool is that? <laughs> Okay, <laughs> let's get a speed measurement out of it. Hundred and sixty five RPM, which is higher than it was, not significantly, not a huge amount higher, but it's higher than it was than it was without the uh, tails that we've just added on. But the main thing about those tails is it's made this self-starting. Now it's difficult to get a decibel reading in this environment, but it does seem quieter. I mean, the files are there in Thingiverse. Like I said, there's two parts of the files. I've added them to the old files so you can have a look at it yourself. And <laughs> that's whizzing around and fiddle on with it as much as you like really. See what you can get out of it. To my mind it's pretty clear but what the researchers are saying about this is um, awesome and really you want to think about incorporating it into your own VAWTs to get I would think 
similar improvements. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the videos. Thank you very much for watching. And please do remember to like and subscribe. Two hundred and four RPM.